Hey guys, this is Cruz Roy. This is a video, it's a very long video, probably the longest battery run I've ever seen, but I can see a terrible shake. And I don't think the gentleman saw it until he reviewed his 360 camera footage. He's got quick grips on there, and I still think that they have enough slop to cause a blade tracking issue. And if you check out any helicopter with blade tracking issue, it causes vibration. So vibration and a long flight can cause a mount of all kinds of issues. One of them is it can put a lot of strain on your battery, your ESC, and wiring. And what you see coming up is I think the tail motor failed. It just shut down, causing a nice crash for, what is it, an $800, $1,100 bird that you really had to get parts for. And I don't think... Preferably, I would fly a fuselage with these quick grips because it adds a lot more weight to the bird. The fuselage is already heavy, and you're putting it on a, a helicopter that's only designed for a canopy. And coming up, you'll see that the guy shows you during the conversion where he puts the GPS. He puts the GPS upside down. I don't even, he must have been flying in 3D mode because it would have never picked up GPS, but that would have never caused this crash. It was something else, either servos or it might have been the quick grips and the blade tracking all together. So please be careful flying these. I have nothing against Flywing. It's a good idea. They're a very easy, learner-friendly helicopter, but... Please take the steps to check everything out and your fasteners and everything to make sure they're all good and tight and you have a good blade tracking. This is Cruz Roy and I'm out of here.